Sweet Pea Pernell Whitaker, Jersey Joe Walcott, Archie the Old Mongoose Moore, James Lights Out Tony, Georgie Benton. What do all these guys have in common? Hmm. They were masters. The rolling shoulder and the Philly shell style. But what I thought it would be important to do is bring to you something that gave you an insight to what boxing truly is and that it's come from an immense lineage and that nothing that you see is new. The guys who actually did it better did it way back. So today we're going to drop it. What is it? It's going to start you off. It's, it's, it's a great episode for one. Second of all, it's a must watch because there are different varieties of technique and skill set that are in here. So you're going to get an opportunity to see us show you the footwork that actually goes with the masterful science of not only the Philly shell, but the peekaboo as well. How does this all come together and make one unique, beautiful science, pronate punches? I can't even begin to tell you this is not the show that you do not want to miss. And we're going to lead this off with some footwork. So no further ado, it's time to box. All right, here we rolling now. All right, so what we're about to do now is the weave and pivot circuit. This is one of the more difficult executions in the footwork program, but getting the bird's eye view will really help you guys understand how maniacal and how just those tedious little things can make you be executing it wrong or it could position you to be doing it right. So what we're gonna do is, today we're gonna walk the floor going down. Jonathan, so pay close attention because this is one that has to do with court zone, the PO2. So when you're doing the weave, I need my power in. So first principle, always keeping your eyes on your opponent. When you're bending your knees, you're going down, you're gonna roll in the direction that your head is, is the way that you're gonna pivot so you can get around your opponent and come back. So you walk that floor, you come here, and you roll up under. Boom, you can throw the shot, walk that floor. You go here, tramp. Walk, weave, and you can come here. On the other side, boom, weave, weave. Now, knowing that my head is on the left, then that means I'm coming here. Boom, so one, two, boom. Keep my eyes on my opponent, one. Back under, bam. Set myself up for the left hook. If this hand is not up here, I will be countered by a left hook myself. So, coming here, bam, posturing right. That's why in a peekaboo, it's important that you have over and under. And that's the weave and picket, pivot circuit. So take your time, execute it, and look at it from the back. One, and come up. Time is it? All right, I hope you're taking this in really good because next we're going to show you a little bit of the importance of angles and utilizing head pops. What benefits does it truly give you? So here's a couple of insights for some of the training that we do. Enjoy this next one. One of the things that we'll have to do, even all the way up, the guy will throw. Even when he knows you slide, he got to finish the combination because he got one more lucky try to get you too far out of his axis. So he can't really get that. And that's why he's going to be exposed. That's why Tyson has so much success. Zab Tudor really would have been that savage if he would have used the peak a little more. He was so comfortable with the shell and he wouldn't use his offensive prowess 
even though you punched with that, 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 that right lightning, you didn't use that prowess. He didn't use his stature in his favor enough, except for Corey Sphinx. And if you pull up tab to the Corey Sphinx, you will see fight the second fight. It was a beautiful masterpiece. That's where you're going to see what you're doing. was a good one I told you now we're going to get into something that you learn when you're in our peekaboo training program now not everybody has these techniques that we are doing the these things that we're sharing are some of the secrets small amounts of them but definitely secrets nonetheless and here we're going to show you what creates that impactful punch the tight punches that do a lot of damage physically so these punches are based upon force so these are the pronate punches and you're going to see a lot of little techniques that are secretive that allow the peekaboo to be effective. Let's see what that looks like. You can do that because he's coming like this and he's throwing that jab over the top. Well, as you know, we coach and we work with guys and, and make sure that you have the right information. So there's a, a lot of questions that we listen to you guys talk about. And some of it is, how do you fight a taller fighter? Well, here's some tips and a couple of things that'll let you know the importance of knowing how to utilize these techniques to fight against longer range fighters and being able to merge styles that's what our system is based upon, merging styles. So let's see what Coach Bradley has to say about that. Mm -hmm. Always better, so you can, because you will feel better like this because you cover more ground. But right here, you're going to come back up more balanced. And you see, when I go on my offensive attack, I'm, all, I'm, I'm with it. So to get to that point that you can do that, you have to get reps. It has to become second nature. You gotta do it, take your pants off, take your underwear off in the shower before you get in. You gotta practice. You know, the boy's about to poop. Hold up. Practice. You know what I'm saying? Let's just get this work. Master boxing. Step, step, step. Under. Under, pivot, back, step, step, under, under, pivot, back, step, step, under, under, pivot, back, step, step, under, good, under, pivot. Y'all understand, this is what you call that super sweet shit that you got to watch you video, but they don't understand how is it happening because your footwork is maniacal. You get it? Step, step, one, two, Ah, uh, I told you it was going to be a very quick but insightful. And that's what we do in the school of boxing. Last but not least, we're gonna show you the matrix. What makes this style, this unique thing that Sweet Pea used to do, create that layer of invincibility and invisibility. This is the matrix on It's Time to Box. Check it out. Alan, we did this drill. You wanna know, once people get it, they love it, because it's like, yo, I can just see the punches coming. And that's why we go one, two, three. But you gotta really know how to bend your knees. You know, you gotta know how to do that and, and come back and jab step and all that and pivot that foot and step. And 
you know, it's like Barry Sanders running the ball. You know, you don't know what's coming. Like, in the, I don't care how good your defense is. Floyd Mayweather got crossed up, you know what I'm saying, by Bone Collector. Like, you can't do nothing. That's that. That's the matrix. You don't know what's coming. Period. So you cross people up. They're like, we do them legs bent. That's why we go four corner. That's the same breakdown when we do one, two, three. That's this. That Mike Tyson stuff, but it's broken down. One, two, three. I had to figure out how to teach people to get it because they couldn't get it. So I had to tell them to just like one. Take that one, shift this one, turn that, get back to center. And throw a punch nobody see coming. And you're on the side of somebody, they're looking at your hand, they're only looking under. All right? And especially when you're throwing hands punching. You know, you're damaging people. And they like, they exhausted and they mentally exhausted. So you see how the legs is? Look at the angle, because the weight right here, as it shifts around. De La Hoya, Chavez, all of them ate that. You know what I'm saying? People try to do it, they don't know how to do it. They don't understand how much training the legs got to go through. It's not just athleticism, because if that was the case, everybody would know how to do the matrix. Ready? Let's go ahead and do the four. So do that step. That's all I want you to pop. Pop. That's all I got for right now. Coach Bradley signing out. All the way from here to Hong Kong. Peace. Hi, dog. I love looking at some boxing. I just get enamored with it. And I hope you had a good takeaway from it make sure you get your notepads because when you start following us for real by subscribing to the website what you're going to find is that there's a lot of this stuff put together but the best thing about it how we do it there's it's pretty much in chronological order and it really gives you the muscle memory training that's necessary in order for you to really have the skill because if no one's there to tell you to train in that same method the next day you'll be training and doing something totally different which that never develops into a good athlete so remember accountability and finding a source that's reliable and giving you the proper information is the most important thing doesn't matter all of the stuff that you're watching and seeing on youtube and facebook and instagram doesn't matter the biggest thing is that you have a home where you can really be accountable for the stuff that you need to do, not what you want to do, but what's necessary to become a master at the skill set of boxing and how we use our system to merge systems and styles together to create one masterpiece of boxing. That's all I got for right now. Until next time, continue blessings at God's speed. My name is Eric A. Bradley, and hopefully you take the time and realize that we're just not talking heads. We really want to teach you, and we've listened to you. So without any further ado, it's time to subscribe and follow us across the board at Master Boxing. Until next time, we're out. The Matrix, go check us out. It's worth the subscription. Peace.